welcome back to the channel and if you noticed I have a red background you know what that means it's time to do a <clears throat> how to or what I got video actually this time we're going to be learning how to wrap gifts properly so if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button <clears throat> notification bell I appreciate your support and we're gonna jump right into this so with this uh, wrapping paper here we're gonna start with this box now nah, I'm messing with you guys we actually will not be wrapping any gifts today this is and hopefully my very last unwrapping review and first I'm saying unwrapping very first and last unboxing review for 2021 I think honestly I have one more box coming in I'm not going to do a uh, unboxing review on that there'll be a surprise item it's supposed to go with one of these rods I know what rods these are and <clears throat> what reels they are and what everything was supposed to be but I want you guys to see what I'm going to be working with for 2021 I added another spinning reel and well an ultralight spinning combo as well as a bay finesse combo I also got some lures from, I want to say Russia. These things came from Russia and Singapore. And they opened my box. On here somewhere, it said, was officially opened by Customs Decorations. Hmm. Sorry, this is from Poland. So I'm gonna go through these lures pretty quickly because uh, <clears throat> I don't think they are uh, of name brand except for the ones that were from Singapore. I, I actually ordered all of this stuff off of eBay and the very first one or four of them actually did come from Singapore and these are called I'm about to screw this up tri coro GTs floating models Timon got four of these get this money out of the way so you guys don't get distracted by these 22 cents I'm looking forward to throwing these. The water here, by the way, you won't see any videos of like first bass in 2021 for me, January, February, mainly because everything's frozen. We may get lucky and get a day where it jumps up to 40 and that's about it. The water's frozen, especially around this area. So this is the four Timon's Try Coro, Tricoro, Tricoro, GT. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm screwing this up, but they look nice. They look like they could be a bigger version of Lucky Crafts humpbacks, which I did get some of those as well, and I didn't post or talk about them. Uh, they will definitely be put in rotation. Now here are the. These lures came from Poland. There is a couple of ones. I'm gonna actually put the links in the description and where you can get them from on eBay. And maybe try to find the actual company where these came from. 
like this one here says crack crack who seek zp i'm telling you i am going to butcher these i'm going to butcher these names but uh i'm also going to butcher this fish's lips when this water get right i don't know if you guys can see that hopefully you can looks pretty cool it's a floating i actually bought all floatings this time this one's a Cormoran SP4. That one's going to be kind of hard to see. It's got a little bit of a bigger lip. It is spending 3.9 grams, dives 1.5 meters. Lips pretty, pretty big on the front of that. Well, not huge, but it'll get down to where I need it to especially in February. And on the back here, it says, oh, oh, okay. The different types of fish that it attracts because their, their fish are different. Now, I wanna say that one's a trout at the top. It's a perch. I know that's not a walleye, that's a Xander. And I wanna say that, that one at the bottom might be a pickerel or a muskie. Correct me if I'm wrong. Especially if you guys know about, if, if anybody's from Poland, in that area that knows about this, I want to chime in, be my guest. I like information when it comes to fishing. This one's called a Blazer Cornell Mini Diver. The lips are actually about the same as the other one, but it's a lot smaller of a lure. Everything is in a different language. Ooh. UV active colors. Realistic action. Baby minnow. UV active. Wait, is this thing glowing in the dark? We're gonna find out. Alright, let me get through the rest of these. Try to get through these pretty quickly. Here's a Daiwa pencil bait 67. in these boxes here's a question for you guys who actually collect lures if you're watching this do you keep your boxes or am i the only weirdo that does that i keep my boxes in especially when it comes in something like this i keep them i don't know what it is uh i have a crate full of empty boxes lore boxes and i don't know i'll eventually probably throw them away but all of this stuff definitely gets used i don't i'm not a a collector per se if I have it it's gonna get used this right here is another core Comorin F16 and it doesn't say anything about Xander or Pickerel it doesn't have a check this thing has a check for trout I've been trying to catch trout for the, the longest and not even the longest. It became a, a goal of mine last year. My, my dad caught a trout, and he's, he's only been here since June of 2020, and he caught a trout already, and it was like, what the heck? He caught a trout, and I didn't catch one. Kind of disappointed. But yeah, we got a core Comorin, a core F16. These are lures out of Poland. Um, I, I, I don't know what made me just, I typed in micro baits on eBay and I probably could have, uh, did a little more research and probably found the direct, uh, company's website, but I know eBay is somewhat safe, especially it's called a blazer. I want to say Blazer or Colonial G N O M. This is it's a micro bait. I'm going to definitely give you the link to them directly. Here's a bigger version of what I just put down, and this one's called a Crook 35F. 
It's got a wide lip. Looks like it could be a wake bait, but does it dive? It's floating with the lip included it is 1.4 inches and it goes down 0 0.2 meters pretty shallow so this thing is I guess classified as a weight bait <clears throat> I'm saving this one I'm saving this one you guys that one. I'm showing you that last. I'm gonna get through these. This one here is a Spyro. Nano 65 gold trout. This one's cheaper. I'll definitely start buying these. So I think I got enough left to Made in Poland. Individually tested. Do Radu. Do Radu. Okay, so these, this company here has a Facebook. This one's a classic floating PRT. Say how far it dives. Got a really little lip on it. They have a Facebook account. Facebook.com. Do Radu. Do Radu. D O R A D O. I'm telling you, I am butchering these things. They probably say it completely different. But I supported them. Boy, like. 13 lures directly from their eBay store. And now, for the last three, which are the same in three different colors, there's some kind of grasshopper, and they look real, like really real. But these were really well done. It has antennas on it. Image go lure. I don't know if it's that's just like a side company. I'm going to take one out of the box and see if I can legs and it's shaped like a grasshopper. I, if they would have took the hooks off of it and the lip, I would have said that they literally caught this grasshopper and put him in some epoxy. That's, I don't know if you guys can see that. Paint job is really well done. It looks like brittle insect, like, I don't know, skin or shelling or whatever you want to call it. But it's really well detailed. It's almost like you could feel it, but you can't because there's epoxy is on it. So pretty well done. Handmade. And the company. Oh, okay. I can order directly from them. Emagolords.com. Like image. I'm gonna go lures.com, okay? Everything else is in another language, man. I couldn't even tell you. I'm assuming that 4.5 centimeters is how long it is. It's 3.5 grams. The hooks are owner, size eight. 
it says it dives 0.1 meters, but I feel like that lip's bigger than that. And I don't know if you guys can see that lip. I feel like that lip it may go a little further down below. But this is going to be a summertime getter here. I don't know if my brother watches my YouTube or not. I always mention it to him. And when I go down there to his, his little ponds that he got, and those grasshoppers are jumping in the field. As we go down that dirt road, pulling this out. First thing I'm throwing. First thing I'm throwing. So, of course, I got a Iowa Tactical View spinning reel cover medium. I have to say right now, Daiwa is killing it in comparison to the other companies when it comes to their reel bags and their reel covers and stuff. I like being able to see my reel. I have uh, other companies, of course, Shimano and stuff like that. But uh, they were really did a good job with this. I don't know if they've probably been on forever. I'm, I'm kind of, like I said, I, I'm late to the party, man. Um, when it comes to showing what to use, I like this a lot. But of course, with this real cover comes a real. I ordered, I order most of my stuff from this one company that a lot of people I guess can't trust or they always ask is this place legit. I haven't had any issues with them. And I've been dealing with them since 2016, maybe. Not 100% sure, but it's been a while. But the name of the company is Asian Portal. I wasn't going to give out this information. Shipping here, even during this unprecedented time, I got my stuff under a week from Japan. I order stuff from here, and even with like rush delivery and stuff like that, it still takes two to three weeks. And I understand we are currently going through some stuff so that's no complaint but you want fast you definitely want to want to go through these guys i will say with them it says free shipping but what they did is they throw the shipping costs and on the price of the reel or the rod or the lure but they're still cheaper than anybody else i've ever dealt with and i've done a lot of research See this red label? Asian Portal. I trust them. A lot of people don't. Don't take my word for it. Try it out and see. So <laughs> it's a nice box. And my art teacher, she seen me doing this, she'll have a fit. Never cut towards your shop. She would always say when I was doing my etching and stuff. Alright, anyways. The spinning reel. Got Luvias FC LT two thousand S for sweet. Nah, I don't know what the S is for. Um, I guess if somebody knows what that S stands for, you want to chime in, man. Chime in. I'm telling you the S stands for sweet, and that's what it's gonna stand for to somebody say otherwise. So, this one here, 
Okay, this in English before I start reading it out loud. Okay, so I just noticed something. A guy pointed it out to me, and now that I'm looking at it, I am kind of disappointed that he brought it up and I didn't catch it. And I don't want to say it because I feel like I might be wrong. But he told me, he said, Asian Portal sells the made from China versus Japan and Indonesia. I want to see if that's true. Now I'm going to look at all my boxes. All right. Where's this one? Okay, so, okay, all right, I feel better now because this box says made in Japan. I was getting ready to get out of this thing. Get this box out of the way. He said when it's cheap, it's usually because it's made in China. I don't know if, now I have to do some research on this reel itself and see if it's actually made in Japan or if it's one of their made in China models. All right, let's see what we got in this fancy box first white box that I own. What type of ballistic? Let me look at that one. So yeah, he got me looking to see if all of these things China. Well, I'll be. I didn't order this one from Asian Portal, though. All right. Man, my bad, man. I'm gonna actually speed up me looking through these boxes because now that he even said that he told me this other night <clears throat> this one's covered so I can't this one's Malaysia I knew Scorpion from Malaysia by the way yeah both of them I remember seeing that even though some do say Japan I just see what this one says Malaysia Japan all right so two of them are technically made in Japan and three Malaysia Three China. I have nothing against any of them. I'm all for it. Whatever. As long as these jokes catch fish. Alright, it comes with a fancy bag. And inside that bag is the handle. Yes, it is the handle. And like I said before, the only thing I dislike about the Daiwa handle to Shimano's handle and in comparison handle does not swivel at all it's directly on that's my only issue with them but of course shimano doesn't have a see-through bag real cover so guess this even of course you got your paper sps plus and your manual with the courses in another language some Japanese made in China got some extra rings that will go on I don't want to start lying and say that they go on where the handle will go but I feel like they do let's throw these back in here So that's what the LT stands for, light and tough. You get closer to what the S stands for. I feel like it means salt water. I'm kind of disappointed if that's what it means. And it doesn't mean sweet. Gear ratio is 5 1. This is a pretty slow 
gear ratio, mid speed. And 60 yards at three pounds, four pounds, 110. That's nylon braid, four pounds. They just literally put it in meters, they didn't even say yards. 200 meters. All right, so what rod do I have for this combo? Of course you know what rod I have for this combo. Something telescopic. Something telescopic. I think got me looking real crazy right now. Just so y'all know. Alright, here we go. One of them joints. JDM. Tackleheaven.com is another good one, by the way. Tackle heaven. This one's just in some PVC pipe. Start with this one. Must have been the address that was on there. Like, I feel like I'm not holding anything in my hand. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. What do we got? This is a big caster. And I want to say it's not blue, but I don't remember that. I don't remember the name. It's taking a lot longer than I expected to. I appreciate you wrapping this up like this. It got me looking crazy. It got me looking crazy. Oh. You can see this, man. It's only bugged out. these things that's what I'm here for the butcher this is a really nice now from my understanding all good telescopic rods are supposed to untwist here so that the water can come out if you drop it in the water because it's telescopic that thing's not budging, but at the same time, I couldn't get that thing to budge either. I'm probably just weak. Anyways, comes with a nice little cover over the top. It doesn't fully cover the entire rod itself. The color of this thing is brown and green. I hate that color with like a maroon accent. And that first guide or first piece is guideless. No guides on it at all. It is a 566 six light two to ten grams, four to eight pounds. Five six. They got a lot of oh that's a floater. Okay, my bad. Almost messed that whole situation up. Is this a floater as well? It's a floater as well. Okay, all right. That's two floaters there. Yep, that's floating. That is stationary. So we have one piece, two piece, three piece, and the third piece. That one is stationary. Floating, five piece. Six piece. 
that. This piece is I'm not breaking it if I use it. It's stationary. So we got two stationary pieces. One, two, two, three. I'm definitely going to mark this one. This thing's crazy. says trout. Um, I'm assuming I haven't caught a trout. I'm assuming that trout don't fight as hard. But that is flimsy. Yikes. It's a nice rod. What would you guys that's into the telescopic and bait finesse set up pair this with? I, I have an idea of what I want to use. I want to hear what you guys would use. I would use the Abu Garcia. I gotta keep it Abu. Abu on Abu. Uh, I think it's called an ALC BF7. I think that's what it's called. I think that's what I'm gonna put on here. This fry is, doesn't feel like anything. It's got this little split here. I gotta figure out if this comes off without me messing it up. I feel like it does. It's on there. I know this jacket's not gonna do it. I feel like it's turning. I feel like it's turning. Not turning. Right, so I know what I'm gonna put with this. Well, call it done with my rod buying and stuff. Somebody trying to jinx me. Trying to get me to cut myself. Guys, it's a Daiwa Triple B telescopic light fast action spinning rod. That's all I'm gonna say. And I'm telling you, man, they wrap these things up. I don't know if they got like a lot of thieves or something over there. I'll tell you what, boy. They got these things up so that you can't get them. If customs open, they're going to be highly upset. Oh, that opened up pretty easy. Sweet little case. This case right here, man, if I could find these without having to buy the rod, if Daiwa sees this, you guys should start selling these cases. <laughs> ah, I'm pretty sure it would sell, because a lot of people ask for them. rod out of the box out of the package out of the case the 
grill was already on here and this one's okay the spinning guides are great especially this one floating on here that is nuts i'm not gonna try to perfectly line it it's not like i'm going fishing tonight i actually won't be going fishing for a little bit all right so we got One, two, that's not a floater, that is the actual connector. One piece, two piece, three piece, four piece, five piece. I'm guessing that's the finest six. I know some people who fish like this. I ain't, I ain't gonna say no names. I know some that do this, but nah. For some odd reason, with my big cast, they're on this side, and I cast with my right and start reeling. No, that's wrong. My big cast is on this side. with this side and switch you back and start going crazy but with the spinning rip just this side and start and just start really this one through. I'm not saying you didn't think all your other stuff through. These telescopic rods, man, y'all thought this through. I don't care what nobody said. They really thought this through. But, uh, like I said, a couple of questions. What line would you put on this? It is the triple B 666 telescopic light fast action Spinning, and then I have the Abu Garcia Trouting Marquise. I like this one too. I just wish it was a case. I have an extra case, surprisingly. I bought a junk rod to fix one of my other Triple B bait casters, so I might stick that in here just so that it's completely wrapped. And what rod or what reel would you get with this? It's really, really light. In comparison to the two, now nah, I stuck the reel on there. It's still, I mean, it's kind of heavy now. But this thing felt like nothing coming out of the package. That, on the other hand, it definitely had a little bit of weight to it. I had a similar version of this, and I got rid of it. I'm going to keep this one, though. But anyway, guys, I really, truly appreciate you watching. If you have any suggestions on what I should do, leave them in the comments. I wouldn't get mad if you knew the answer to some of those questions that I asked about with the S stood on this reel. 
definitely let me know because right now it means sweet y'all have a good night